Like I've mastered the tea thing. The only place I wanted to come and talk to you about was here because I really feel like everybody in the culture pays attention to y'all. But I knew I could talk my shit. Talk, talk to me. This is the Rumor Report on The Breakfast Club. What you want to know? Shout out to the female producers at The Breakfast Club that put that together. Taylor, Taylor. gang. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, the gloves are off again. That's Come on, a, where's the gloves? Cue. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> a little late, a little late. <laughs> listen, uh, so Candy Burr is back in the news. She's on social media burning it down because now she has put Escape in the headlines going up against SWV and it's not on tour. Uh, she now uh, tweeted something that has been picked up by everybody on social media. She said, I never said they didn't sell more records, talking about uh, uh, SWV, but the concert is about who can sell more tickets. Be upset if you want, but we've done we've done other shows since the tour, and promoters still had SWV go on before us. It is what it is. If you don't know, both of them, uh, SWV and Escape, have a reality show that Mona Scott Young is producing, and now it's turned into an episode of Love and Hip Hop mm -hmm. uh, because they are now beefing about who should go first. So uh, fans... Are now reacting and so but what i learned in looking at this was that tiny had actually tweeted first and she said that they received a call saying that they should co-headline well one of the fans uh responded and said uh take your ego out of it candy because both of you are headliners and have a catalog that many still listen to it is not about who gets more views on social media it's about the music and if we're going to be honest swv has more hits than escape that fan is uh absolutely right and i would think the same thing if i saw swv and escape uh, in concert, I would just think that they were co-headlining. Like, I wouldn't be thinking SWV is opening for Escape or Escape's opening for SWV. Never. I would just think it's an SWV Escape concert. No, no, I think artists definitely think that, uh, you know, because it's, it's you want to close, you know, you don't want to open. And yeah, even though we both co and mm -hmm. somebody has to close that show. And I think SWV has it in certain markets, and I think an Escape has it in certain markets. Like, in Atlanta, Escape has to close. I don't know about that's that. The, that's their town. I don't, I, I, these, these women love... SWV. I think, I'm not saying they don't love escape, but man, when you think about it, I'm so into you, weak in the knees, anything yes, right there. Yes. Those are different type of bops. I would give them the clothes in Atlanta. That's their hometown. SWV everywhere else. But their hometown of Atlanta, you let them yeah. close. I, I don't have a problem. I, I agree with that. that. That's the compromise. Yeah. I never, you know what's crazy? I never heard SWV and Escape in a comparable situation before. I heard SWV and in Vogue. Yes. SWV and Escape. Mm. I mean, both are great uh, groups. But why does it have to come to this? This, this, I would love to see this play out on a like an episode of WWE, <laughs> three on three. Why not an episode of SWV Escape? Don't they got the show together? I'm sure this is most of the sports storyline for the show. By the way, nah, I'm well, sure they don't really feel this way. I Mo think Lily feels this way. Lily's closing. Coco's really? closing. Wait, Mona Scott Young, we feel your fingers all over this one. Actually, Lily, speaking of Lily, she actually responded today. See? She posted, uh, "This here internet got Nick." Did I say that word? Yeah, why not? <laughs> this here internet got these niggas acting real gangster. LOL, keep that same energy, boo boo chicken. Tell you something about Lily. <laughs> yeah, don't play with Lily. Lily gonna fight. <laughs> Lily, Lily. I'm telling you that right now. Lily gonna fight. I'm telling y'all that right now. Yeah, Even at is. her big age, Lily gonna fight. <laughs> Lily ain't even gotta worry about that there. Yeah, Lily, Lily gonna fight. Why did the picture of Lily with Timberlands on just pop up in my yeah, head? Yeah, that's exactly that's what Lily. That's Lily. Do, that's you Lily. got the right picture. Well, another, Timberland and Lagan. Another friend of ours, uh, Megan Good, she's out here shutting down rumors. She spoke to one of my reporters at the Essence Black Women in Hollywood. Uh, there's been rumors that her and Devon Franklin ended their relationship or their marriage because one of them cheated, and this is what she said. So what advice would you have for those people like myself or like others who might be going through a divorce or finalizing a divorce or done with their divorce and are really trying to reinvent themselves? Yeah, I would say you really got to trust God, you know? At the end of the day, these things don't happen because God makes them happen. It happens because people have free will and they make choices. And if he's allowed it, then he's got a plan. And you got to get excited about the plan. Even if you're hurting and you're still healing or whatever may be the process, you just got to trust that what he has for you is incredible. Um, and it doesn't mean that, that it negates the other things that you may be feeling as you're healing. But it does mean that a lot of what we look at going forward is a choice. And I choose to just be excited about life. I love Megan. Now, I will tell you, I was at the Black Women in Hollywood event that Essence had in, in Hollywood, and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I did see Devon there, and I saw Megan, so I was going back and forth to see if they would actually talk to each other. Did they? They, they didn't talk to each other. Um, they both were in great spirits, and it seems like she's uh, she's giving them grace. I mean, she's all grown up. She's a woman. She but what happened? I, I, I never heard what happened. They haven't spoken on it yet. I mean, I actually invited her on my show. She's supposed to be coming soon so we can get into it, but they've been tight-lipped, haven't heard anything. But he's the one that filed uh, for the divorce. Mm. Mm. So it's interesting. But she actually uh, said more about their relationship, and this is what she said. He's an amazing person, amazing human being. Um, I'm thankful for having a decade of marriage with him. I'm thankful for what I gave, what I got. 
And, you know, now I'm like, Lord, what's next for me? And Lord, what's next for him? I hope the best for us, for us both. So. Now, do we have to say that. former first lady Megan Good, being that she's no longer the pastor's wife? Hilarious. I'm just asking, do we? Or is she forever first lady? Um, I'm just always curious how, you know, and, I, and people can say it's none of our business. but when, It is when, none of our business. No, but when people write books and they talk about the relationship so strong and a lot of people follow them and something doesn't work out, I think it's only right to tell people because people are invested in it. Yep. They, they wrote invest- a book? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I don't remember, remember they came that. up here on the, tour, on, on the book tour. Man, you know, I don't remember nothing. Remember he mm-hmm. talked about how he they, they didn't have sex or whatever Absolutely. until they got married yeah. and abstained. It was a big thing. So yeah. people dive into their lives and they want to follow their lives and follow in the moments. You, no, that's you, gotta, true. you gotta tell people why. What so happened? You gotta write a book about why things didn't work out? <laughs> nah, but at least tell people who followed you and, and bought your books and nah, supported you, right. you and, and, and tried to go down the same road that you went and not having sex now. No, nah, you're right. If you built a foundation... Uh, Mm-hmm. Or, or made some money off giving relationship advice when things don't go right, you should uh, walk people through that journey as well. Absolutely. I agree. That's why I didn't understand when Khloe Kardashian said, get out of my business. You told us to keep up with you. We keeping up with that's the a, Kardashians. That's, a fact. that's right. But that's I, do, fact. I do love that that they haven't been messy, though. I do love that, that they've handled it like mature adults. And she went through hell, at least from the outside, as being somebody, you know, making good in the streets to now becoming the first lady or First, former first lady. I don't whatever. know what happens with pastors. See, that, we know with presidents, right? You forever first lady. What happens with pastor wives? Are you former first lady? I don't know. Listen, about. she says she's single. She texted me the other day and she says she's single and she's out here. So me and her are gonna get in these streets together. Megan, okay. now, now let me tell you something, <laughs> Megan. You was in a great relationship with a man of God. You don't need to stray that far away and start hanging out with Jason. I'm doing Lee. the Lord's work <laughs> too. <laughs> You um, don't need to stray <laughs> that far away from the pulpit, okay? Come on, You don't Megan. have to do that. Come on, Megan. It's going to get good. <laughs> I'm doing the Lord's work, Megan. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> also, that uh, they said the SWV show came on last night. SWV and Escape. Yeah. I don't be knowing none of this. Mm-hmm. Me neither. They said this played out on the show last night. I want to see it play out in WWE. <laughs> Mona, put that bag together right there. Lily versus oh, man. Candy. You remember Glow? I don't remember Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. Glorilla? No. No, man. It was a wrestling organization called Glow, the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. I don't. No. I don't think anybody does. If those of us in the 1900s absolutely remember. Those of us that were raised in the 1900s remember Glow. <laughs> Red, do you remember that? Glow, he wasn't raised in the 1900s. He wasn't raised in the 1900s? He said the 90s. Man, he's like with, 99. With, he came in this world. He don't count. 99. <laughs> Female wrestling wasn't a big thing back in the day. I mean, Glow was big. Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. I mean, it was. I don't know how big it was. It was big enough to be on TV. You know, real known fact, you remember the wrestler China? Yeah. She used to live in my apartment building when I first moved to L.A. Really? She used to lay out the pool. She was coked up and dripped in diamonds. She dead now, though. She, damn. <laughs> damn, buried the lead. Why you say it like, like that, that right? <laughs> People knew she was deceased. Damn. She had a penis, too. God no, she did not. Yeah, she did. No, she did she not. Her, uh, her mouth Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. She That's used it. to have a bikini out at the pool. I didn't see no meat hanging out. No. You ain't look hard enough, Chloe. I wasn't Where trying to. Are Where, are we <laughs> Where are we going? I, All right. We wanted Lily and Candy to fight at WWE. <laughs> That's where we started. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that rumor report. Charlamagne, who are you giving that donkey to, Four man? after the hour, man, we need a 26-year-old woman from Florida named Quavy Young to come to the front of the congregation. We would like to have a word with her. Uh, this is just another example of poor fast food etiquette. All right. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.